Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I almost said Armored Core 6 again, but I finished that game a while ago. Well, not a while ago, recently actually. Go check it out if you haven't already. Right, we've not quite finished up with the Lost Bastille yet, but we will get to that today. First, let's talk to Malentia here and buy a few life gems. That's what I always do with the remaining souls after a level up. the last bonfire in the area? Of course. The bonfires in this area work so weird. Just want the item. The steel key. That is probably important. Can't remember what it goes to though. But I know it's important. I'm not fighting them. You can't make me. Where are all the... Ah, there they are. Yeah, those guys are not fun to fight. The fact that they don't die when they self-destruct is kind of annoying. Uh, what's in here? Absolutely nothing, that's what. I can smack the skeleton though. Okay, there's nothing else. Alrighty then. So let's see. We'll see for this. Yeah, it's just the parry again. So I'm just gonna... Right, yeah, some of them will do that. I'm just gonna pop a few life gems here. actually do explode. Get that out of here. There are way too many of these guys in this room. with all the enemies on this floor, I think. 
Yes, triptych spice. I forget what that's for. Right, I need another fragrant branch to get to the bonfire up here. Well, guess I'm ignoring that though. Good thing there's another one like right at the end of this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark oils. Bam. 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 What are you doing after me? Bam. Bam. Now oh, there's the dude. What you doing there, buddy? Oh, man. Mace is actually really good. Still haven't been able to proc bleed on anyone though. No, so I know that uh, status effects work weird in this game, so I don't know if poison damage just poison and bleed damage just like eff affect the bar or like the if they actually deal damage. I still don't know what this torch is for. I feel like it does something. Oh, hello. I, why did it do that? Oh, he has a three hit combo. Didn't know that. More you know, I guess. Just gonna light a torch here, just so I can get over here and light that. Take damage for that. Pretty sure I can wear out another one if I go in down here. Yep. <laughs> Come on, man, you just gave it to me. Also dropped a life gem. I want this item. Human effigy. Uh, it was worth it. Ow. Ow. Alright, I've had just about enough of you. Drop a life gem. Right, this is the run back to the boss. It's not great. I don't actually think there's like a good shortcut back to the boss either. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I could have grabbed that item. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey. I believe this is Lucatiel, isn't it? Yeah, it's Lucatiel. Just gotta make sure that the uh, Luca deal don't die. Cause that would suck. I think if she dies before you kill the boss, then it's fine as long as you restart, reset the area. I should have cleared out the area before I did that. Uh oh. Ow. They also put real enemies in the area. That one shot me? Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Whatever, I want to continue on Luke Teal's quest line. I'm probably not going to be able to finish it proper, though.
Ow. I dare you. Taking needless damage won't help me out any. There we go. Inventory, human FG. Alright, yeah, you don't actually spawn with all your health. Honestly, I could just despawn him, but I don't feel like it. There we go. Ah, oh, man. This and Demon Souls. The animations for backstabs and for posts are great. than the dragon lake legs, but they're still better than the falconer legs. Please drop a life gem. Nope. But the gloves will also... He is bugging out. Mm-hmm. You doing okay there, buddy? Eh, it is but a scratch. He's just gonna stay like that, isn't he? Murray. Oh, no, he, he stopped. <laughs> okay. Okay, Royal Swordsman Gloves. Can I wear them? No, I cannot. That is an utter shame. Okay, now let's just cheese the dude before things get... Oh man, that's a long elevator. Like, it doesn't seem to, so slow when you're on it, but, like, it really is. Get me out here. A lacerating knife. Is that, like, a throwing knife, or is it a weapon? And, nope, it's a, it's a, it's a an item. Okay, so before I do that, I want to cheese this guy. So let's exit him. And he's... Just, nope, okay, he's out here. You can kind of cheese him using this. You gotta kind of re-aggro him, though. Every once in a while. This actually makes the fight much easier, oddly enough. I guess it's because you're not in the water all the time, though. Ow. I like him. Get back here. Okay, 
Okay, now we gotta deal with the buff version of this guy. I think is just a little bit harder to deal with. Oh, okay, yeah, we fought back then using the sword. Good thing I have that 30 adaptability. It really is just like how well you can survive things. Alright, there we go. Pop another life gem and be done with it. Uh, blossom Kite Shield. Here's where the Grass Crest Shield is. Unfortunately, it put me in a fat roll. Gotta grab that and run away. Actually, no, I'm gonna clear out the area before I bring Lucatiel in because I don't want her falling into. I hear him, but I don't see him. It's a minor issue. Because normally at this point they're aggroed. March the little name of soldier. I still haven't used all those. Yeah, whatever. Just, uh, summon Luka Teal. Also, that thing drops a lot of souls. Going out of your way to despawn that thing is a pain, though. Trust me, I know. I've done it before. Alright, Luka Teal, come on. Ah, there he is. They're gonna pop out behind me, aren't they? Yep, do it. Uh-oh. Oh, what? Again? Oh, come on. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... Without me despawning everything. Because I don't want to have to deal with the big dude every time and die, which is, will be a lot. Uh, what? Well, that was weird. Hey, finally, I got his helmet. Perfect. Now I actually have some armor for my, for my head. But yeah, I'll see you in a second. I'm back. Uh, hello. I'm back. And we're gonna summon Luke Deal now. So yeah, I despawned all the annoying enemies in the area. Well, not all of them, but I... I did kill the... Make the guy over here despawn, so... I find it weird that he's not a mini boss and actually respawns in the first place. I went ahead and killed all of the enemies in the area too, so. Now we can fight a boss in peace. Unless you can get invaded here, in which case that's it. Do not have any flame butterflies. That kinda sucks. Unless there is a flame butterfly over here. Because fighting the lost center in the dark isn't my preferred. Nope, it's a smooth and silky stone. Still don't know what those can actually be used for outside of giving yourself a small amount of HP. Ah, there's an item over here. Nope, Radiant Life Gem. Which, I mean, is still okay, I guess, but, like... I don't think there are any items in this one. Nope. And without a flame butterfly, please don't fall off the edge. Alright, look at you. Come on. 
despite the loss of Sue. Ow. That must have hurt. You know, I can understand why why she took up a sword. I mean, having a bug in your eye can really, can really hurt. Good thing that the summon wolf doesn't care about lock-on range. Just gonna pop the back gem here. So fighting the lost center in the dark means no lock-on range, or much lower lock-on range anyways. Good thing Luke Deal has some good damage on it. It's also kind of hard to see the telegraphs, more importantly. Like Jim. Good thing overall it's an easy boss though. Need you to not die, Luke Teal, that'd be great. Hey. Now. Uh, maybe I should worry a little bit more about myself. Look at the what are you doing? Uh, how did that hit me? Please don't die, look at Teal. I really need you to just survive a little bit longer. No! Dang it. That sucks so much. Really hoping I'd be able to quit out in time so I could summon Lucatiel again, but it didn't look like I would be able to. That really sucks. I don't want to ruin Lucatiel's quest line. Good thing you can still summon her if you just die in the boss fight, so at least I think that's how it works. If it doesn't, then I'm kind of screwed. Oh, right, yeah, the elevator. Please tell me I can still summon Luke Deal, because that would really suck if that wasn't the case. Alright, good, I can still summon Luke Deal, but I'm not going to just yet. Because I still need to take care of the enemies in the area. Which, there aren't many, but they're still dangerous. These are the guys that can take out half your health bar and no time flat. Get that out of here. Yep. Goodness for iframes. 
30 adaptability. I'm telling you, it's the way to play the game. On top of that, it's really easy to get to 30 adaptability pretty early on in the game. Alright, let's go summon Luke Teal. Again. Phantom Luke Deal of Mira. Mira, Mira. Right, the Mira armor from Dark Souls 3. Is that what the hat for that armor looks like? Hmm. No wonder it wasn't in Dark Souls 3. It's too telling. Hmm. It's from Dark Souls 2. Alright, Lucatil, please don't die this time. I really need you to live. Nice. Don't mind me, just grabbing my souls. Hey, you leave Lucatil alone. But for real this time. Ow. Okay, I just need to not be doing that. You dodge around way too much. Also, I think I use way too much of my stamina, way too often on this boss. And also, the hitboxes are a little, just a little jank. Goodness that she has a first attack and that targets essentially just one person. No, Luca Teal. Goodness, Luca Teal actually lived. Alright, Luca Teal. You're alive, which is good. What was that noise? I don't think I've ever heard that before. Either I just don't remember hearing it. Hey, a chest. Let's smack it. There. It's a good thing these metal chests can't be destroyed. Oh, wait, hey, that was a fragment range of yore. Uh, what else did I get? It was like a... It was something. Right, we did also get a Pharaoh's Lockstone, which is... I've, I've, I don't actually really use those all that often. Uh, binoculars, longbow, chime, hammer, real greatsword, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, a bunch of stuff that I don't need. All right. Blossom shield could be useful though. If only I could actually wear it. Primal bonfire. You get the trophy sinner's bonfire for lighting this one. Yes, we can return to the far fire. Which I find it weird that these things don't act like normal bonfires. By the way, let's level up.
Let's get her bigger up some more. Right. You go from level 52 to 59 real quick. Bosses hand out souls like they're hotcakes. Let's go ahead and get that up to 20 and then we'll put the rest into vitality, I think. Because stamina is for losers. I'm just kidding. Obviously. Stamina has become an issue, though. In a way, we can now equip this. Because we actually have some... Now we actually have some stamina regen, which is sweet. Well, actually, does this guy sell the height nine shards? Because that would be fantastic if he did. You, Mr. The name's Lenny Grast. Just a simple blacksmith. And you are? Uh, uh, another useless traveler. A man ought to relate that with his feet planted firmly in the earth. Not roam around like you flirtatious vagabonds. Oh, what does it matter? Go on, show me what you've got. Not a quick. Let me have a look, but do it quick. What don't you get? Yes, you do sell tight-knit shirts. That's fantastic. I won't, so I just need to pop these real quick. Use all of them. Clear up some inventory space, I guess. A lot of souls. Uh, uh, Buy one of these. Uh, force weapon around there. And I can enhance this all the way to plus four. That's pretty good. I'll be around. And I believe I can still level up too. Nope, never mind. I'll just spend the rest on my gems then. Do 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 do. do. Fantastic. Actually, do I... I wonder if I can equip this. No, I cannot. Maybe these? Nope. By the way, I think that's where we'll leave it off for this episode. So, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, leave a like, comment down below. I'll see you later.